Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually have a, quite a few different things to go and talk about in regards to a brand new update that actually happened earlier on today. And of course, whenever Sony goes and rolls out these random little curious PlayStation 5 updates in general, people are always kind of curious on what did I just go and download? What did I just go and update? And also all the other various things. So for this, we're going to talk about what the actual update did, as well as also some brand new features that have been kind of coming out throughout this week. A lot of these things have actually been a little bit more intriguing and a little bit more kind of quality of life stuff, but there actually are a few changes that are actually kind of intriguing especially for someone like me so we're going to talk about what happened today and also the old general updates throughout this week and overall just kind of things being me a little bit more on the lookout for throughout these next few weeks too as well with the playstation 5 so if you guys are all enjoy as well if any of you guys are brand new make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well for the brand new playstation 5 giveaway amazon links down below for the ps5 disc digital console controller twitter and twitch stream as well link down below as you guys you have people follow there thank you very much fake and of course as well sign up for weeble sign up for coinbase get your free uh, bitcoin if you guys also go and buy $100 with any cryptocurrency in Weeble, if you guys deposit $1, you guys go get free stocks. And let's go down the video itself. So as I mentioned, there actually was a brand new PS5 firmware update as of today. But the one intriguing side is we didn't really get necessarily too, too much information on what it is, how it is, and all that good stuff. So let's go talk about a few different things all throughout this video. So one, number one, there actually was a brand new PS5 firmware update. So basically, it's been around two weeks or so since the last brand new update actually came on out. So Sony actually today rolled out a brand new firmware update for the PS5 consoles earlier on today. The new update is incremental and actually comes around two weeks after the most recent one too as well. So kind of a few things to kind of note in regards to this. Today's release was version 21.02.04.03.00. It was the usual about 1 gig or 913 megabyte download. And then according to Sony's official support site, the update also has the same patch notes as the one from earlier on this month, which was very, very ominous and somewhat intriguing in regards of this system software update just you know just does a nice little casual stuff of improving the system performance and of course as well a lot of people have been seeing these up in previous updates and previous things basically being like hey it's, it's going to run better hey it's working better hey it's a little bit more efficient or a little bit more optimized or a little bit more things changed on up or maybe we remove a little bit of bloatware or maybe we had a nice little thing over there like we're not expecting our ps5s to start going like you know dropping coffee which i kind of wish it would <laughs> but you know it's kind of a little small change up for this but that's just not all what kind of starts for this and based on this too as well there wasn't any big undocumented changes but i think a lot of folks are just expecting it's more more on like bug bug fixes changing stuff and we also did have a really pretty pretty big like update in general only a few months ago with the september one which a lot more ssds and have other various things as well on your console itself so with all of this going on, it's actually very, very intriguing to kind of see like what they're slowly changing. And as we kind of just mentioned, it's probably just more so on the bug fix side, or like sometimes we see kind of big errors kind of being somewhat fixed as well. So it's always very intriguing to go and see. But there actually are a few more things that also can be prepping up for this brand new update. And this is kind of interesting, interesting stuff because I think I would actually utilize quite a bit of this. And if you guys want to leave your comments and thoughts down below on what you guys would personally go and use, feel free to. So number one this is kind of the more intriguing and newer stuff over here is that the PlayStation app beta lets PS5 users go and share screenshots and video capture. Although this is kind of like in a beta right now and it's only available for people in Japan and in Canada as of now. This is going to kind of see over here. The PlayStation is rolling out a limited beta update for the PlayStation app on mobile devices. This beta lets PS5 users upload screenshots and video captures which is very very intriguing and i think for someone like me kind of this is why especially for me it'd be very very nice too as well because as you guys know we do the youtube you guys are watching this on youtube so say like we're playing through ratchet and clank as they're going to show here in an example or other various games horizon it's extremely nice for thumbnails extremely nice for articles extremely nice for tweets and now I'm a little bit of like a quote unquote content creator, but in the same time, I know a lot of people out there, say for Ghost of Tsushima and other various games that really did go utilize the capture, realize like taking pictures, like to go tweet out stuff and kind of enjoying gifts and like, you know, fights and all of that. It's basically for people who want to do content, maybe say for their friends and family, brother, sister, but they don't necessarily want to go and put it on YouTube or put it on Twitch or, you know, stuff like that. So very, very cool. They get to go and see this beta over here. And I think the one bigger part is the video captures as i mentioned because say you have a glitch 
might be really good to put up on YouTube or support up to the actual developers. Maybe you had a really funny glitch. Maybe you had a funny moment. Maybe you just really enjoyed a certain cutscene, boss, enemy, character, mob, or those, all that type of stuff. And I could really see this being really, really nice for content creators. Like I said, for articles, for people trying to do wiki guides, people trying to help out people, trying to help out your friend in a boss fight, mechanics. Like there's so many like little small little details that I can definitely see a lot of folks want to use. Or maybe in the same time too as well, maybe even is better for things like TikTok to go and like have a nice little clip, download and upload the clip and go from there. So very, very nifty on this. This is actually though, sadly only available as of now in Canada and Japan on both the iOS and Android devices. It's a little question of the video if you guys actually have done any downloads for this stuff. If you guys have downloaded the app, have used it, feel free to leave a comment down below. As well, we do know that Sony's trying to incentivize a lot of people out there to go and essentially you know, have people go and use it more because you could also go do things like buy games. I think manage your PS5, manage downloads, manage your storage. And there's actually a lot of really nifty features. I think as time goes on, it could get better and better and better. And of course, this is also Sony testing the waters. And this could actually be in regards to testing out this a little bit more and allowing folks to utilize this or even doing bug fixes with these brand new features. By enabling the update on the app, your linked PS5 will automatically upload screenshots and videos that are saved to your console. And then these shares will stay up there in the cloud for 14 days after being uploaded. And the time frame, you can do whatever you want with them throughout that, include like downloading them, which once again would maybe be good for like TikTok, Twitter, sending it to your friends and all that stuff though as well. And the one caveat on this though is that there is a limitation on video capture and gameplay videos have to be under three minutes in length, which I mean, could kind of be in the middle there too as well, but it, it would be nice, like I said, for maybe just doing like little small YouTube clips or funny moments or even boss things or tips or guides just want to send some stuff to your friends too as well. And this is also maybe prepping up for an even bigger PlayStation app update, which hasn't received any major changes or additions in quite some time. So right now this also might be in combination of the actual firmware update to kind of maybe support up these upcoming beta features that we keep on seeing and also utilizing, you know, people like using the app, tying in with the app and you know, just kind of improving all the system in general. And lastly, for some one little other thing over here too as well, which I think is kind of nifty is the PlayStation Store is now actually finally getting a nice little change up and just being a little bit more seamless and optimized. As you guys remember from the previous September updates, we actually did go and see a lot of little small changes in regards to things changing in terms of like the UI is being a little bit more efficient in regards to just a lot of really small features that are just basically meant to be a little bit better, optimized a little bit better. But with this, we actually had a nice little update for the actual act of buying and getting things in the console. So as you guys know, the store is a very large change from the previous gens and is now finally receiving, although it's a little bit of a smaller one, a nice little update. So. As you guys can kind of go and see with this, the PS5 being such a big update for Sony has a lot of different changes from the PlayStation 4. And one thing I am still waiting for, and you guys can also let me know down below, is I can't wait to go and have my dynamic backgrounds back. I cannot wait for my PlayStation 5 to go be able to go utilize that and have like my cool animated stuff. I have a lot of cool ones on my PS4 and I can't wait for that. So as of right now, with it just being under a year old, there are still some noticeable quality of life features that are missing. But it does kind of seem like, and even including with, say, this update that just happened, a lot of them put together do make a lot of sense. And there are really like, it's kind of like a, like more of a marathon than a sprint where, like, you know, every month you can have like some people change some things, make it a little bit more clean, make it a little bit more organized, all of that, which I think is all around very, very nice to go and see. But there actually is a brand new updated feature in the store itself. So now, they changed the PlayStation 5 store and turned it from a laggy application to a feature that was built into the console's main menu has been very well received too as well throughout this past week. So navigating a store was a different story as many people also go and found out that that was kind of the big issue and that's what they fixed this week <laughs> over here. So we had just had a big update too as well, a lot of small changes. So a big actually PS5 quality of life feature was the inclusion of the new games section, which you guys may or may not have already seen throughout this week. So now the feature is actually found the latest, so you can basically go and find the brand new games. It's a very, very small update too, but I do think it just makes sense that they should have had this. And this includes that they actually have a latest, but doesn't necessarily show the most like, you know, forward focused titles. So basically it's kind of like, hey, like we have a what's hot type thing, which is includes more of say like, say Returnal. When that game came out, came out, it wasn't necessarily number one best bestseller, but it was a very hot, very like in demand game. So a game like that would be up there or say a game like say a Fall Guys, although that's not maybe the best example because it was for free, 
but just in case in point a game that's trending a lot of people are intrigued on maybe you think games like Valheim or like those mid-tier games that people are very intrigued on but they're not like the Call of Duties or Battlefields they can end up in that what's hot section and as well whenever Sony themselves think Ratchet and Clank God of War Horizon whenever all those go and show up that means they have a chance to go and utilize that and put them on the very top of the thing same thing a good example is Deathloop as well when that first came out which kind of just lets people go and choose and find the games just a little bit easier and I'm always someone who's down to go and save like five seconds if I can so I'm okay with this but it's kind of like all around like uh both the update that happened today as well as all the other various updates that are being in the work done or maybe included in this actual update itself so if you guys enjoy the video make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well for our brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway Amazon links down below for the PS5 disc digital console controller Twitter and Twitch room as well link down below sign up for Weeble deposit $100 you guys go get free stack free money Coinbase you guys go buy $100 worth of any cryptocurrency you guys go and get free Bitcoin those are always linked down below and I hope you guys just all have a good day love you guys